in the following year. He always tried to compensate for the natural need for human behind, to fill his life with affection, towards a connection that could almost feel a sense of belonging to a group of peoples that sound to him almost as a tribe or a family. But what he found waiting for him instead were only kick and punch. He was made a fool by friends and relatives and treated as a case for hospitalization because this could get attention and profit from his suffering. All things that before and without the torture they did not have. An easy prey, the predator thought among themselves. From the village idiot, anyone comes out satiate and victorious. But he was a rude countryman, and even though he was broken, he continued straight on his own path, dodging the low blow and meanness that first of all came to him from those who he considered brother. The Christmas before the last, he spent it at home in Italy, as a guest of his parents, with no friends or relatives at the table, to celebrate his magic moment. Obviously, to the company of good people, who always met together for celebrate a special day, he preferred to end the evening alone, drunk at the bar. What he reproached the most was that they reduced every gesture, enterprise or thought of his as insignificant and useless. If he start a speech, his words were always a cause for argument. Every intention of his was always out of place. Every attempt to explain himself and understand each other was vain and useless. He was the strange one of the family, the one who came out badly from the womb and they were obviously the example to follow. He hated a bow hole that they did it in a systematic way. Just like a laboratory rat, to prick and sew with needle and thread. Every tear that was there in their relationship apart for a long time. To make so vain every attempt of his to react to the sense of isolation. Vain and useless, therefore, turned out to be everything he was about to do. They kill his enthusiasm in the bud. At every surge, promptly a discouragement. He felt segregated within the wall of his home, and this hurt him and marked him deeply. For him, it was unacceptable. Despite all the years that had passed, he was still suffering in the face of this pain. Certain things had changed him forever. According to him, they should have filled the void he had followed into, to the loneliness, and shield him from the constant shots of strangers and passers-by. But uh, over time, he realized that uh, they were the first to offer bow and arrow to anyone who wanted to strike him. They did everything to keep him quiet, with a nonchalant attitude, while they fed him to hyenas 
for increase as much as possible the number of bastards in this world. This kind of dark manipulation and the rubbish side of the human behind was hidden by an untouchable respectability. The first few years he reacted with anger, pre to an horde of rages. Over time he understood that losing his mind and having furies with certain people was leading him to dig his own grave. He took time and thought of another way to remedy this evil. He was tenacious and his life was on the top of his interest. So he didn't lose heart and kept going without even looking back. He spent a couple of years within the wall of his home. He gained experience a new method to always emerge from the adversity of tomorrow. Problems that often happen to him in the most absurd way. The last stab that life uh, staked him was shot from afar to damage his honor in an indelible way. But this time the attempt fails without however finding anybody to hurt him. Same modus operandi to the mean and punish in systematic way. Mark with a slender indelibly a person hitting him from a distance with mud. For the record, in his absence while he was locked up in the UK during the lockdown, he received a notice from an Italian court because he was summoned to trial by unknown persons who reported event that never happened for which he was held responsible, fact of which he was not even aware. He remained stunned by everything now. Deep down he was made up of broad shoulders and strong bone, so he stopped to thinking about. Laboratory rat, he muttered to himself every now and then. He no longer sat the answers. To order, he had left the task of rating and marking anyone who passed by the other side. He instead focused on self on charting new route that led to the warm sea of the tropics, which he had been waiting for too long. He worked hard and saved some money. He understood for a long time that it was dirty hands that he had been shaking since the cradle. Hands that kept him tied and gained within the walls of his home. So, shortly thereafter, he bought a plant ticket and took flight for a new country.